Hi guys, in this experiment we are going to see about no load and blocked rotor test on single phase induction motor. The nameplate details are HP bar kilowatt is 1 bar 0.75 kilowatt, voltage is 220 slash 230 volt, current rating is 5 ampere, speed is 1500 rpm. Apparatus required are voltmeter 0 to 300 volt, MI type quantity 1. Ammeter 0 to 10 ampere MI type quantity 1. Watt meter 300 volt 10 ampere UPF quantity 2. Watt meter 300 volt 10 ampere LPF quantity 2. And then single phase variate 230 volt slash 0 to 270 volt quantity 1. The circuit diagram for this experiment is this one. Here we connect a single phase auto transformer. This one is a centrifugal switch and this one is a watt meter. Here we connect a ammeter and voltmeter. The procedure for the no load test is with the auto transformer in the minimum position the supply is switched on and the voltage is gradually increased to the rated voltage as the motor picks up speed. All the meter readings that is ammeter, voltmeter and the watt meter readings or noted down for this no load condition and then the auto transformer is brought to minimum position and then the supply is switched off. This is the tablet column for OC test. For OC test we are going to use the LPF type watt meter. I am going to write down the meter readings 230, 2.1 and then voltage is 344. Next we are going to see about SC test. For blocked rotor test with the auto transformer in the minimum position and the rotor is blocked with the spring with the spring S1 and S2 and then the supply is switched on. The voltage is gradually increased such that the ammeter reaches the rated current. All the meter readings are noted down under this condition. After taking the readings, the auto transformer is brought to minimum position and then the supply is switched off. The per phase resistance RA of the stator winding is measured using multimeter. This one is a circuit diagram for SC test. I'm going to write the values. VSC is 64 and the short circuit current is 5. And then watt meter reading is 332. The formula for the whole experiment is this one. The formula used is cos theta is equal to W0 by V0 I0. And then cos theta SC short circuit is power factor at the short circuit is WSC by VSC into ISC. And then ISCN is equal to ISC into V0 rated by VSC. And then WSCN is equal to WSC by V0 rated by VSC the whole square and then IC is equal to I0 cos theta0 IM is equal to I0 sin theta0 R0 is equal to V0 by ISC X0 is equal to V0 by IM R equivalent is equal to R0 1 is equal to WSC by ISC the whole square R2 is equal to R equivalent minus R1 R1 we can uh, calculate across uh, M1 and M2 Z equivalent equal to Z01 equal to VSE by ISE. With this formula and this tablet column, I am going to make a calculation on this. For rough calculation, initially uh, I have noted down the speed that is 1425 rpm. And then synchronous speed is 1500 rpm. First, I am going to calculate this value cos theta. Or this power factor cos theta is equal to W0 by V0 into I0. W0 is 344 by 230 into 2.1. I have written the, this value. You can uh, multiply using the scientific calculator 
I'm just uh, writing down the correct value and then a uh, power factor at the short circuit is WSC by VSC into ISC 332 by 64 into 5 I am taking the short circuit value here 1.04 and then uh, and then I am going to take this value I S C N is equal to I S C V naught rated by V S C this phi into 230 is the rated value and then V S C is 64 17.97 ampere and then WSCN WSCN WSC V not rated by VSC the whole square 332 into 230 by 64 the whole square 428.79 watt and then IC and IM IC is equal to I naught cos theta naught IM is equal to I naught sin theta naught 2.1 to 0.71 1.49 ampere then sin theta naught is 0 0.70 into I naught is 2.1 the value will be 1.48 and then R0 and X0 R0 is V0 by IC 230 by 1.49 154.36 ohm and then X0 value will be V0 by IM 230 by 1.48 equal to 155.41 ohm and then the uh, value R1 will be calculated using multimeter across uh, M1 and M2 I'm just writing the correct value and then R equivalent is equal to WSC by ISC square WSC is 332 by 5 square all the values are, I am taking from this tablet column only you can see WSC is 332 and ISC is 5 answer will be 13.28 ohm R2 is equal to R equivalent minus R1 R equivalent is 13.28 R1 is this one 6.1 answer will be 7.18 ohm Z equivalent equal to VSC by ISC 64 by 5 12.80 ohm and then uh, loss X equivalent X equivalent equal to Z equivalent square minus R equivalent square 12.8 the whole square minus 13.28 the whole square answer will be in the imaginary is 3.54 ohm at last I'm going to calculate the percentage slip value percentage slip ns minus n by ns into 100 ns value will be 1500 and the n value will be 1425 500 into 100 I'm just taking my cals 1500 minus 1425 divided by 1500 that is answer will 5 percentage answer is 5 percent with this calculation the experiment is over thank you for watching